Janelle. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. It means a lot to me. I hope that you all are doing absolutely amazing and staying safe. Okay, so I'm gonna cut to the chase. New Dayglo music, when? Most likely 2021, or less than five months already. The month that maybe we can expect Sloan to release a new single should possibly be looking around February 2021, sometime maybe later than that. No cap. I am not making this stuff up. I take these matters very seriously. Sloan and his beautiful music are extremely important, valued, and genuinely special to me, so I would never joke about these things. I always want to mean what I say and I want to make sure of accuracy. So, I'm gonna go over all the details to confirm that this is happening. You guys have every reason to believe it. Here's the exact proof of Sloan confirming the timing for the release of his new music from his interview with the Inside the Loop podcast that was shared on September 25th, recently this year. He did say he has new music coming out in the neck within the next five months, because I asked him about the five month plan. And he's got a couple couple singles coming out, and he may or may not believe one is an absolute banger. One of these songs is probably going to be fire. Yeah. If, if they're going to be fire, but one of them is going to be fire, fire. Yeah. Well, I mixed my own music, so that's something most artists don't do. And that just becomes a very meticulous process where, um, yeah, it's just very a lot of, like, details mm -hmm. and um, I just kind of have the ear for that so once I'm done with a record um, I just really can't listen to it um, yeah, yeah so I'm, I'm kind of getting there right now with with my new one there's just a lot of levels of from when a song's idea is conceptualized to when it gets on to Spotify so like there's just a lot of different levels of music that most people take on individually and I'm in a situation where I do it myself so um, that puts different challenges in my hands um, which I enjoy doing mm -hmm. um, and having that creative control but I would say the hardest part is just like letting go like and being like yeah like this is good to go I don't know I'm a perfectionist in that way yeah I mean I have a lot of unreleased songs and they're bangers. <laughs> Some, yeah. I don't know. Fuzzy Brain was not conceptualized as an album, whereas this next one from the beginning is like, I need to make these songs make sense together, um, which has been honestly more fun and I think is just better. But yeah, yeah we'll see. I, appreciate it. I kind of view Fuzzy Brain like in that series where I was breaking down the songs, like I just do things so differently now. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's just weird because like songs really can just take a life of their own. Um, there was also another one, an, an ang not an angry fan, but maybe like a curious fan that is yeah. um, prodding for more new music, which is yeah. normal. I'm, I'm one of those fans. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to put some, some stuff out. You hear the five year plan, but I'm not going to ask you about the five year plan. I'm going to ask you about the five month plan. Okay. <laughs> How the next five months look. <laughs> oh man. Um, I have no idea, um, unfortunately. Um, Obviously, we're in a time where there's not much direction. Yeah. Not much formality. Yeah, this was going to be like the busiest year of my life. Um, so it's really kind of just funny that like it was the complete opposite. I mean, in, in just different ways. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I'm still like productive and like doing a lot of stuff but in these five months there'll be some new music out and um moving in a, in a new direction and um yeah just hopefully things clear up more and i can start to tour so yeah if the second single um that, that i release for the upcoming record okay gets top five in the first week in the world u.s in the just top five u.s okay okay oh wait that's kind of soon <laughs> <laughs> no i love it i love this so not the first but the second is the second one a banger do you already know it's gonna be Dude, top you five? let us know like <laughs> you said next five months some new music so fans 
be looking out for that. Even though he specifically said five months of a wait back then, and it's November now, so it could be in three months, still not confirmed yet. Again, Sloan himself still doesn't know when he's going to be releasing his new Dayglow music, but he is really looking forward to the day that he blesses us with his new singles, plus his upcoming new second album, which I'm so excited for. We know he tends to be a perfectionist with his music. I know everyone wants to hear his new songs, but please, just allow him to breathe, let him focus, and just work on it. You have to understand that music is a visual and culinary art of both sorts. It doesn't always come that easily and quickly to come up with something so delicious when it's layered with special ingredients that each have individual recipes for. Mixing and production takes so much time. The easy part can often be vocals, but production is the next world that gets deeper instrumentally. A necessary practice for music is that if you think you've finished working on what sound you want your song to express on its own as a whole, but something still feels like there's a missing fixture to it, at times it's best to take a break and revisit your project a bit later. Here's footage of Sloan answering one of my questions regarding his new music in his Instagram livestream on November 2nd this year. And just so you know, I didn't mean to sound pushy whatsoever. I should have taken more time to rephrase my question, but I was just kind of asking in a way to hint towards him, like, is February the month, huh? Huh? <laughs> At least a single? You never know. Hey Sloan, big stuff is gonna happen in February 2021, right? Uh, I don't know. Not sure what's gonna happen in February 2021, but I hopefully big stuff, and if the stuff is big, then it's good. Um, but I, I have no idea. We'll have to see. And yeah, he himself doesn't know, but one of these days is gonna make up his mind. <laughs> I'm more than ready whenever he is to release his new music. Literally, there's no pressure. He can take the time to focus on his work. And he has every right to. So you guys just need to be submissive and understanding on that matter. <laughs> Sloan wants to make sure that his work is complete and that it'll be truly something that he's proud of as he's been growing and learning with music in the process, and he absolutely deserves to be proud of his art. 2021 is looking to be a monumental year for Sloan, his new music, and his new album. I know, it feels like it's been a millennium of a wait. I've been there from the earliest part of the ride. <laughs> I've been supporting Sloan ever since the first week of Fuzzy Brain being released on September 28th, 2018, so you can only imagine just how I feel. <laughs> Gotta stay patient. <laughs> Whether or not our daily lives will go back to normal in 2021, so we still don't have to be scared of anyone, I know Sloan is going to come to the realization that the show must go on, even if it means that it has to stay virtual, at least for a while. And think of the opportunities. In quarantine, there are so many people with more time on their hands. Schedules are opened up more, pretty much, I can guess. There has certainly been an increase in Sloan's supportive and appreciative fan base. Sloan has the greatest potential to release new music right now in the moment, is what I'm saying. I know it's going to be around three years distance between Sloan's first album and his second new upcoming album. I just want to let you know that you don't have to worry about the timing whatsoever. What I mean by that is Sloan didn't just release Fuzzy Brain and then dip out for good. He's not avoiding his creations of new music. Literally, I've got a plethora of compilation videos with clips of him working on his new upcoming music, and if you haven't seen them all yet, you should definitely check them out. <laughs> I have the links for them or a playlist down in the description box below. Now, I've got some special information for you guys on three song titles of Sloan's new songs. It might blow his cover just a little, but Sloan hasn't ever really been reluctant or hesitant about playing some of his new songs at his live shows especially at his last few live shows just before him and his crew had to cancel his spring tour due to the rise of COVID-19, the urgency of social distancing, and importantly, staying at home. Retracing back, here's the special information I've been asked so much by you guys to share. There are three new songs by Sloan that I know the name of, and they could all easily be released as singles for his second album. So here's a brief description for the first song. It'll go something around the idea of the title I'm about to tell you, however Sloan chooses. So the backstory is that Chase Lawrence of the band Coin 
He's pretty close with Sloan, and he kind of exposed the existence of this song, and I think I'm for it. <laughs> Here's the proof provided in these video clips. Let it go. Sloan was either showing Chase's song, or maybe they did a collab on it. Let it in, let it go, it'll pass, it'll grow. That sounds like the song lyrics or the song title to me. Now, these next two songs I'll tell you about. Sloan has performed them live, just before having to put his shows on hold due to the pandemic. The second song is called Medicine, and the third song is called Balcony. I believe that Medicine is going to be his first single in line for releasing his new album. Just maybe. And Balcony could follow up as the second single, but it could happen either way. I know about these two songs through a blogger who rated Sloan's shows. Her name is Sam. This is the information provided on her blog back in early March 2020. This is the review website link in case y'all wanted to find it. And then highlighted here, as she said, the band also played a new song for us, which is always a treat. The song Medicine speaks about having to help someone you aren't really into anymore. Yikes. This is the reference. I reached out to her as soon as I could, and we talked about it. <laughs> Here's our conversation. Sam responded by saying, yes, the song was supposedly a new one. He did two total unreleased songs at the concert. Another outstanding detail is that she said, medicine is upbeat and groovy for sure. It kind of reminds me of Hot Rod, just a bit slower. The second song is called Balcony. I can't remember any lyrics, but it's got a cool backtrack and a beachy guitar. And this is pretty much it. This is all I'm allowed to share with you guys for now. Get keen and super hyped for Sloan's new music sometime in 2021. It's gonna be a massive new year for him and I'm completely here for it. <laughs> I'm tremendously excited for Sloan's new singles along with his upcoming second album. Yay! <laughs> I'll provide more information here on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram account at Janelle when the time is right. Stay tuned for more. I know I said I meant to post this video around the earliest part of November, but a lot of things happened on my schedule for a while, so I just didn't really have time to focus on making this video. Here's a new update for you guys if you haven't heard already. Earlier this week or last week, I don't know when I'm going to post this video, hopefully it's before December kicks in. But anyway, a few days ago, Sloan has released a new line of his own merchandise on his merch store. You should definitely feel free to check it out and buy his new merch. Here is everything that he recently designed. We got beautiful shirts, tote bags, an amazing hoodie, beanies. I have no idea how I forgot to mention this, but there's official Dayglo mugs, and I have to have them. All kinds of incredible stuff. They're all so aesthetically pleasing to me. I really need that new Dayglo hoodie and the beanies in my life. I love that orange beanie to be specific. It's time to get broke again, but I'm reasonable about those things because I haven't bought all of Sloan's merchandise, especially since he was selling his spring tour merchandise that he never got to sell in person at his live shows just because of the pandemic. So sometimes you miss out on certain things or you can't afford it, but I got this shirt and I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that answers pretty much all of your hungering questions for Sloan's new music and when it's going to be released. I'm envisioning the year 2021 to be the hugest comeback for Sloan Strubel of Day Glow, and it's going to be his best one yet. It's gonna blow my skeleton away. If you guys have any additional questions, please feel free to comment down below. I'm gonna be doing a Q&A video real soon, so might as well ask anything right now while you can. I would greatly appreciate it. Again, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please hit that like button and subscribe to me if you are out of this world excited for Sloan's new music and you're really looking forward to it and you're trying so hard to be patient even though it's extremely difficult, but it is possible. Turn the notification bell on so you can stay updated for more things. I hope that you all are doing absolutely wonderful and having such spectacular and beautiful days and nights continuously as always. You are special and you are worth it every day. Just in case no one has gotten to tell you that yet, I would be honored to be the one to tell you. What was I saying? Oh yeah. <laughs>
make sure you find every way to show your family, friends, and your pets your love and your care for them. Make them feel special as well. Take care, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. The name of Sloane's new upcoming album and the release date is... Drum roll, please. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can't tell you that yet. <laughs> One of these days I will. <laughs> I'm sorry I gave you a cliffhanger like that. Whatever. Stay patient. You know the drill. I lost my, I lost my, I lost my mind.